welcome back to Clinky. I'm Mark. I'm Diane. And today we are taking a look at Monster Mule. Uh, we're going to actually make a Moscow Mule with this stuff. Um, it is intended to have the flavor of a Moscow Mule basically all in one. Is that yes. your understanding? Yes. Except uh, no alcohol, just ginger beer and lime is what the taste is supposed to be. Now, we are not big uh, energy drink drinkers. Mm -hmm. I have had one or two monster variants in my day, but uh, I never, don't think I've yeah. had any, so uh, there you go. The can is very cool. Yes, it's very pretty. Yes, it's ornate. It's, um, it's black with this kind of copper on it. Uh, very, very, like very and... slick packaging. Very slick packaging. Yeah. Especially versus some of the other um, versions of monster drinks I've seen that are like lime green or, you know, bright red or whatever else. This, this looks really sharp. And the can itself looks quite black. It smells good. It smells very uh, okay. citrusy. Why don't you pour some in the... Okay, sure. Um, Monster, of course, has a lot of caffeine. Hope so. That's like the whole shtick of it. It says B vitamins as well. Yes, and um, terrine, so... Okay. Thank you. Clinky. Yeah, oh yeah, the the lime and the ginger are really coming through on the nose. So, yeah, it's it smells like a Moscow Mule for sure. I think it smells good. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to give it a go. Um, that's, I actually like that. I really like that. This is, yeah, this is pretty good. This is really good. You could convince me to drink a whole Ooh. lot of Monster with this. This is, this is quite... Yeah, that's really tasty. Um, this can set us back $2.69 at my local pizza shop, bait shop, um, carry out, uh, lottery ticket place in my yeah. area. Um, your mileage may vary somewhere in probably in the neighborhood of $1.99 to maybe $3 a can. Right. Yeah, I'll bet you can definitely get it $2 to $2.50 easily. Oh yeah, I really like this. I really, I really, I really find this super tasty. Yeah, it feels like there's some kind of weird, like mouthfeel after I quit drinking it, and I don't think it's just carbonation. It feels kind of slick or something. I don't know, like it's coating my mouth with something. But maybe that's just in my head. No, yeah, I could. See, so, you know, we're just. Save some oh. for the, uh, yeah, I know. Part. We can't drink it all straight. Um, this is good. Yeah, this is really I would good. totally buy one it, of these. It is quite sweet. Yes. It's 210 sweet. calories. Uh, for one can? For the whole can. And this okay. is a 16 ounce can. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't, I mean, it's easy drinking and it doesn't quite have that, that. I thought bite it was, that a lot of ginger beers, that really sharp bite that a lot of ginger beers have. Yeah. Um, it's really smooth. So should we uh, try this with some... Uh, sure. Yeah, I was expecting right. it to be a lot harsher than it is, but this is... No, this is... That's... Super good. I yeah. would I would pick one of these up and drink it. Okay, I'm just going to do an ounce. Right. So we've just got your standard vodka here. I'm sure anyone will do. Uh, yeah. Odorless, colorless, that's that's their that's the thing about vodka. This is 80 proof, this is Vetka. Um, this is a larger bottle. I think this is like a liter, maybe. Um, maybe even bigger than that. But the 750 here in Ohio runs about 12 bucks for this guy. So, um Alright, so do you how high do you think I should go here? I wouldn't go above the ice. I All did right. crush I do have some crushed ice in there. I think that's probably good. There you go. Alright. And this is a, a Moscow Mule um, cup that I got when we went to the Dublin Irish Festival, and we had Irish mules. So. Yes. Dublin Irish Festival here in Ohio. So. All right, here we go. All right, give it a go. I bet this is good. 
Oh, Arsvedka is 80 proof. Did I already say that? That's that's good. I would have one of those. It's uh, right. It's not as good as without the vodka, but uh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's actually tastier without the vodka. Oh, it totally, sure. totally is. But um, this would be a. Um, but yeah, I mean, this would. This is a decent cocktail now. Um, we didn't go, you know, what we could like really control group this thing and actually make a Moscow Mule with the regular ingredients. But if you didn't want to waste time with that and you wanted to get some caffeine in you while you booze it up, you could totally go this route. Yeah. Do you want, do you want to, do you want to try this one since we've had more of these in the past? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay. So I did pull my little, uh. Kentucky Mule. Kentucky Mule, yes. We've had a number of these. These tend to be more our our speed. I'm just going to go put an ounce of the bullet in there. Bullet is just a nice go-to. This should be 90 proof. Yep, 90 proof. All right. Um, well, let me go first. Okay. Now, was that a whole shot or did you just do a little bit? I did an ounce. So, oh, yeah. all right. Well, there's not as much, uh, there's not as much mule in there, so this might be a little heavy on the booze. It is kind of heavy on the booze. Do we need more mule? Here. All right. Okay. okay. I like that. Mm. Yeah, that's, I like that a lot. Yeah, like you're... Like the old go-to Red Bull and, and vodka, Ooh. I would absolutely do this instead. I like this one better in the vodka. Yeah, Kentucky Mule. This yeah. cup looks like you found it in like your great grandfather's <laughs> attic or something. <laughs> it's a sterl it's a sterling silver cup. I've I've had it for mm. a number of years. Yeah, it's it's more like for um, what do you call it? I don't know. What's that drink that we mint julep? This is uh, more for mint juleps. Well, um, so. Yeah, yeah, and, and if you have people who don't like that real sharp bitiness of the, um, if you don't have people who don't like the real sharp bitiness of uh, ginger beer, like I like Fever Tree, but it does have this kind of sharp, kind of real tangy bite to it. This, this doesn't have that. This is quick and easy. Absolutely. I think this is a, a nice alternative for quick quick Moscow mules or Kentucky mules. Yeah, or... especially if you want a little caffeine and you want something that's not difficult to put together because it's not crush up some ice, throw in some bullet, throw in some... Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're just grabbing an energy drink, check out Monster Mule. Yeah, that's, that's, that's quite... That's really... Yeah. That's really delicious. That's not what I expected from... Super good. An well, energy drink. Till next time, thanks for watching. Blinky. Blinky.